people think sipping a sparkling wine is reserved for only the most special of occasions, but it shouldn't be. Champagne and sparkling wines are light, approachable, and delicious and should be enjoyed on any given day or night. And of course, our wine and spirits expert and founder of Dallas Uncorked, Haley Hamilton Cogill, is here to tell us about a few unique sparklers that should be open tonight or right now for that matter because right we've yes. already started. Uh, <laughs> yes, we have. Oh, you always bring so many great things. What do we have today? So we are going um, non-American. I think it's the first time I've nice. talked about sparkling wines and had um, all international kind of different varieties. The first nice. one is a Lambrusco. Okay, so I say Lambrusco, you're like, yeah, that stuff from like the 70s. No, that I was going to say, what the heck is, is that? that? Okay, <laughs> um, it's, I know, Educated. Susie was still here. Susie would be like, really? What? People are yeah. drinking Lambrusco? It's, it's gone through lots of different phases. It's both a variety as well as a region in Italy. Okay. Um, the grape is a red grape. It's like a red wine grape made into that. a sparkling wine. Um, they can be a little bit all over the board. They are, um, and this one, it's Vecchia Modena Lambrusco. It's about $15 very very affordable um, I like this one in particular because it has the kind of red fruit notes that you're gonna expect mm. with that kind of juicy light um, a little bit sweet but also has some good spice and good earthiness so mm -hmm. it's not overpowering right. also very low alcohol it has like 11.5 percent okay. alcohol usually Lambrusco's will be on the lower end of alcohol who wants to drink that so you can drink it all day <laughs> oh and then it's the perfect it's perfect it's also it's as great as an aperitif or with a dessert like chocolate nice. mm. um, any kind of berries kind of okay. dessert really Wonderful. good what's in our glass and what you guys have been drinking is Which from um, it's the a brew Root Cava Rosé from oh. Anna de Cordonneau. The packaging, first of all, is beautiful. What a great gift idea it's for a, someone. Exactly, it but is. both the in regular pink. Brut that's um, in a white bottle and then the Brut Rosé and this pretty pink bottle. Um, traditional method, that's another little tip that you guys didn't talk about earlier. If you're going to look for a sparkling wine that's maybe not actual champagne, mm -hmm. look for traditional method. It means that second fermentation takes place in the bottle, okay. oh, wow. which actually, that's what kind of really develops all those, those really rich flavors. It's also, they're not pumping CO2 into the bottle, which that's what gives you the bad little what, headache. Um, how, do you, how can you tell the difference? And we'll usually say on the bottle, method champenois, traditional yeah. method, something like that. This one, um, Pinot, Pinot Noir base with a little bit of Chardonnay. So again, the traditional grapes of mm -hmm. champagne just made into a cava in Spain. Really special wine, about $20 you can find it. And it's delicious. It's really, really light, good. really mm -hmm. lots of strawberry. I think it's a beautiful wine. Next one, Brada Cremant. I was just in the Loire Valley. This is Cremant de Loire. Um, it's, it's one of the other, if you're having a sparkling wine in France that's not from Champagne, it's a Cremant. This one made from a Chenin Blanc grape, which can also be a little all over the board. Can be made very sweet, can also be made very dry. This one's very dry, it's from Ackerman. You can find different houses all over Dallas. Really special, lots of kind of stone fruit and floral notes, which makes it a really nice, light, really beautiful mm -hmm. wine. Again, nice low alcohol, so it's you can drink it, start the, start the night and the night, that sort of thing. Good to mix with orange juice for um, You can, I mean, it's, you, you're, you're gonna want, I, more of like a Prosecco girl mm -hmm. for mimosa because that's a little bit sweeter mm -hmm. sometimes. But and some so, people like the dry. Exactly, right? and, and a little bit dry. Okay. Um, next one's French Accorda. I've talked about French Accorda before. It's a region mm. as well as a grape or a variety. Um, the wine's coming from uh, the French Accorda region of Italy. This one's from Bella Vista. And it actually has the three traditional grapes also of Champagne, Pinot Noir, Chardonnay, Pinot Meunier, um, made into uh, made into this region that really their goal is to to rival the best champagnes okay. in the world. Bella Vista, beautiful view, one of the best houses. They're really special. They're they're Brut Cuvée, lovely, light, fresh, lots of, of good citrus notes. Really love this wine. Got it. <laughs> um, a couple now traditional champagnes. Mm -hmm. First one is Moets. Moets, um, they only re release a grand vintage year champagne. Usually a champagne is made by kind of blending year to year to year. It's what kind of creates that house style. Mm -hmm. um, this one, Moet, is actually, if, if the year is, is, the grapes are deemed high enough quality, they'll actually pull it out and make a, a special vintage oh, wow. year. So they're 2006. Okay. Um, lots, a very long time leaving the, the the juice on the the yeast in the bottle which mm. adds that kind of brioche notes all that richness in the bottle again this is traditional champagne this is you know it's a 75 dollar bottle of wine but this it's is, it's the one that a lot of people it's think so about, special right? exactly and that's the the other I want to get to my uh, nicholas mm -hmm. for the um rosé again traditional rosé from champagne lots of strawberry lots of cherry lots of really really rich notes also a little touch of tangerine which i think is kind of interesting mm. um and that's also kind of my my main thing and, and talking about 
how to drink champagne, how to drink any sparkling wine is every day is a, is a day to celebrate. Mm -hmm. And I so, agree. you know, open the open it on a random Pop Tuesday and, 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 you know, pull it out of your, your cellar, put it in your fridge just a couple hours before. You don't want to get them too, too cold because you want to still taste all the beautiful fruit and just enjoy. Mm -hmm. Now, it's funny because you call this Moet. I mean, all the people around here call it Moet. It's Moet. It's Moet. Not. Yeah. <laughs> so they got to get all fancy with it. It's Moet. Why? Because you know, it costs a little bit more? No, it's Moet. No, it's Moet. <laughs> I've also, you know, it's also, is it fillet or fillet? <laughs> See, then you get a little, then it's a little tricky. But yeah, I. But she's I, the expert. I, so yeah, I call it Moet. Moet. If the Moet people don't like it, I'm sorry, but yes, it's all I good. believe it's Moet. No, I think it's Moet. <laughs> so <laughs> thank you for well, treating great us. Absolutely. And of course, you can find out more about these great selections by going to Haley's website. That's DallasUncorked.org. When we come back, it's the sweet harmony of the sister trio, the Michaelis, um, or Michaelis. Come on back with us and check out these wonderful girls. They're so much fun. She likes champagne, something sweet on her lips, make her feel like a star. Sunset Street.